Oh, how lovely. What lovely roses. Oh, that is really beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. Oh. With best wishes on your birthday, dear mother. Happy birthday, dear mother. The words may be few, but they're filled with fond thoughts and affection for you. They wish you the best and the happiest things and all of the joys that a glad birthday brings. With love from Michael, kiss, kiss. Oh, thank you, love. That is, that's really, really beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> Come here, then. Let me give you a big, big kiss. <laughs> What's this, then? A present. A present for me? Oh, you shouldn't have, Michael. You shouldn't have, love. You really shouldn't. Oh, whatever is it? Whatever can it be? Absolutely awful. <laughs> but they're so lovely and delicious, they really are. Mmm. Another marzipan one. <laughs> oh, go on, Michael, love. Do have another one, eh? You make me feel so greedy. No, thanks, Mum, really. They're yours. Gorgeous. That's the only word. Lovely. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. But you're a naughty boy, Michael. You know I can't resist sweeties. You are, aren't you? Really naughty, eh? <laughs> Ooh, I'm sure I shall be sick. Oh, I am, aren't I? Absolutely terrible. No willpower at all. Not one scrap. An absolute disgrace. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but they are lovely. Now, where shall I put these where they won't tempt me? Oh, yes, Michael, just wait a moment, will you, please? Yes, would you come in now, Michael, please? Michael, this is Mr. Grimes. And this is, um, Miss, um... Blissett. Uh, sorry, yes, Blissett. Do you know who Mr. Grimes is, Michael? No, sir. And Miss uh, Blissett, do you recognise her? No, sir. Do you know Grimes' news agent and sweet shop on the green? Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Grimes is the owner of it, and Miss Blissett is the shop assistant there. Yes, sir. Now, Michael, I'm going to ask you some questions. I don't want you to be nervous, and I want you to think carefully about your answers before you speak. All right? Yes, sir. To begin with then, Michael. How often do you go into Mr. Grimes' shop? Well, well, sometimes, sir. Did you go into it yesterday? Yes, sir. In the afternoon, was it, after school? Yes, sir. What did you go in for, Michael? A birthday card for me, Mum, sir. And did you get one? Did you get a birthday card for your mother? Yes, sir. How much did you pay for it, Michael? Do you remember? Um, I think it was about 80p, sir. 82p. 82 pence, Michael. 82 pence for the birthday card, yes. And did you buy anything else? No, sir. Quite sure? Yes, sir. Michael, do you know what trifles are? Yes, sir. Things you make with cake and stuff, sir. 
Well, old Michael, I didn't mean that sort of trifles. I meant the sort you might get in Mr. Grimes' shop. No, sir. He's saying you've not seen any in Mr. Grimes' shop. No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. No, sir. I haven't seen you in Mr. Grimes' shop. Oh, those. Yes, sir. I know what those are, sir. Chocolates? Yes, sir. And sweets. Small chocolates and sweets. Small chocolates and sweets, yes, mixed. Yes, sir. You've seen some somewhere before then, Michael? Yes, sir. When? Uh, where have you seen them? Yesterday, sir. Where did you see them? Mum had some for her birthday, sir. Where did she get them from? I gave them to her, sir. You gave them? Yes, sir, for her birthday, sir. Where did you get them from, Michael? From... Well, from a shop, sir. Would you tell me which shop you got them from, Michael, please? Yes, sir. It was... I think it was... It was McAllister, sir. McAllister's supermarket? Yes, sir. McAllister's supermarket in the high road, sir. Huh. I wonder if I could ask the boy a question. Yes, Mr. Grimes. How much did you pay for them, son? Well, when was it you got them, Michael? Was it yesterday? Yes, sir. Well, I think hard. It wasn't that long ago, was it? I'm sure you can remember what you paid for them. Well, we well, think it's about a pound, sir. No. A lot more than that, son. I don't really properly remember properly, sir. They are a lot more than that. You see, Michael, the problem is, you see... I bought them, sir, with a lot of other, other things, sir. Groceries and things, sir. So I don't know how much they were just on their own. Groceries and other things? Yes, sir. Where did you get the money from? From my mum, sir. Yes, I see. Your mother sent you shopping for some groceries and she gave you the money and you paid for the chocolates for her out of that. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we ought to say something to you, Michael, to explain what this has all been about. You see, yesterday afternoon, when you were in Mr. Grimes' shop getting the birthday card for your mother, well, not long after you'd gone out, um, this... Um, Missing. Noticed that one of the cartons of trifles was missing off the shelf. She knew no one had bought one, so she had to try and remember who'd been in the shop. And one of the people she did remember was you. And I believe you'd been in the shop only a day or so before also with some of your friends, and she noticed one of them called you Titch. <laughs> so we knew at once, of course, who that'd be. Well, anyway, thank you, Michael, for helping us clear it off. And now Mr. Grimes will get on with trying to find out who it really was who was responsible. So, uh, can I say, well, thank you, Michael. It's all right now, you can go. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm not satisfied. Mr. Grimes from the sweet shop who was here the day before yesterday. Well, I'm sorry to have to say I've had a telephone call from him this morning to say that he's been to McAllister's supermarket where you say you got the chocolates for your mother's birthday from and he says McAllister say they don't sell those sort of chocolates, trifles or whatever they are, and they never have done. Yes, sir. Well, I remember after, sir, that it wasn't McAllister, sir. It was Price Fair Supermarket, sir. Michael, please. I think it would be better, don't you, if you didn't answer quite so quickly, please. It was definitely price fair, sir, because I had to have a caravan to carry the things in, sir. 
and the lady on the cash thing said there were five p each, sir. So I thought, blow me, that's a bit steep for a cab bag. Five p, blow me, and. Right, please now, just don't say anything for a moment, will you, please? And when you do, think before you answer, will you, please? You say you got them at prize fair, right? Now, just think what's going to happen now, then, will you, please? If I tell that to Mr. Grimes, he's going to go straight to prize fair. And he'll ask them if they sell trifles, won't he? And what will they say to that? Don't know, sir. You don't know? But you've just told me that that's where you got them. So if that's true, they should say, yes, they sell them, and you could have done. Shouldn't they? Yes, sir. And will they? Don't know, sir. I mean, it might not have been price fair, sir. It might have been another one further along on the other side. Michael, now listen carefully to what I say, please. Mr. Grimes also told me that these chocolates, trifles or whatever they're called, are a brand new line that have only just come on the market. And he's inquired carefully from the manufacturers. And so far, very few shops indeed have got them for sale. And he says he knows exactly which shops in this area have them, and up to now, none of them are supermarkets. Michael, Mr. Grimes isn't going to give up about this. And you know me well enough to know that neither am I. I'm going to give you until tomorrow morning to think it over. Come and see me tomorrow morning before school. And tell me the truth, please. Yes, sir. All right. And Michael, if you tell me the truth, if you tell me honestly and straightforwardly where you got them and how, well, I'm not saying that you won't be punished, but what I am saying is that if you don't and I find out some other way, I shall be much, much more severe with you than if you'd owned up. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. You see trifles? I'll say you're in a mess. You're that all right. Oh, you nit. Honest, Titch. Cause some people. It's all right for you lot, though, ain't it? Oh, yeah. How do you say you got them at McAllister's? Without even knowing if they sold them. And Price Fair. No one ever buys sweets at Price Fair. Everybody knows sweets at Price Fair are ten times what you can get them for anywhere else. Anyway, go on then. Go on then what? Well, what's the truth? You nicked him. No. I'll give over. Come on, Titch, what's the point? All right, tell us what did happen. If I'd have nicked them, it'd have been simple. All I've had to have done was go and tell old Arnie that I was sorry. But I didn't nick them, I bought them. Oh, come on, stop messing about and tell us... I bought them! For a quid. From Golden Morgan, I met him on the way home. And he said to me, would you like to buy him? I said, yes. Now, I told you, Jumbo, stop it or I really will get cross. I know how much longer we got to sit here. I'm baking under these lights. Yeah, well, listen, I've told you already. There's nothing I can do about it. All right, we we'll just sit still. We won't be, it won't be long. Ready? We're ready. <sighs> Right. Well, then, we're here to talk about Titch's problem. Aren't you going to start off like you usually do, by saying who you are? Look, they know who I am. They know what goes on. They... OK. Hello. My name is Dogger. George Dogger. Right, now, then, Titch's... Funny, funny name, isn't it? Still, what, what can, can you do? do? 
You don't choose it, do you? It's, it's your parents. parents. All right, OK, come on, leave it out. A joke's a joke. Now, listen, we're here to talk about uh, Titch's problem and the mess that he's got himself into. And unfortunately, Titch couldn't be it here with It wasn't he us. couldn't. He wouldn't. Yeah, well, the first thing I want to know is, do you cells know that when Titch said that he bought them off somebody, that was true? I mean, he's told quite a few fibs so far, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, that was true. I know when Titch is telling the truth. It was true. Well, surely then, there's no problem, is there? I mean, he just goes to old Arnie. I mean, <laughs> Mr Arnold, the headmaster. <laughs> and he says that he got them off Gordon Mott's name. I mean, that's all there is to it, isn't there? Well, isn't it? Well, look, why not? Who is he, this Gordon, whatever his name is, anyway? Gordon Morgan is the school head boy. Well, listen, if the school head boy says that Titch well, got muffins... Well, how do you think Gordon Morgan got them? You're not saying that he stole them? Oh, look, he might not have. He might have bought them. Well, somebody might have given them to him and he didn't like chocolate. And somebody might not have. Titch can't even mention him. Well, how about it if Titch goes to Gordon Morgan and tells him the spot he's in? Gordon Morgan say, hard luck. Well, in that case, Titch has just got to tell the headmaster. Gordon Morgan would just say Titch was making the whole thing up. And guess so people would believe. Well, what do you think Titch should do? You'll find out in the final programme what did happen. Next time, though, will be our last story, and it'll be about Larry. Hey! Oi, come on! Hey, uh, look! Leave it out a minute, will you? Come on, come on! Idiots! <laughs>